30 years ago, we did our 1981 shove and pallet and ran on 100% ammonia. Um, history wasn't ready, the world wasn't ready. Today, the world is. This is prototype number two. This is the diesel ammonia multi-fuel system. This is prototype number three. And this is the gasoline ammonia multi-fuel system. All right, and here we have the gasoline ammonia uh, conversion prototype we're working on. There's the ammonia tank. This uh, particular system is designed to run on gasoline and ammonia. Uh, so you'll start the vehicle. It'll run for 30 seconds on gasoline, and then it'll run on 100% ammonia. Uh, we will have 100% reduction in carbon emissions because there's no carbon in the fuel, except for the 30 seconds when you start it. Um, uh, and much lower nitrous oxide emissions. Uh, it's higher efficiency um, and higher power output than conventional fuels. This vehicle is the, uh, the uh, diesel ammonia propane CNG multi-fuel system. This particular uh, tank is propane. So right now this system is running on diesel and propane. Uh, on Tuesday we'll put the ammonia system in it. And essentially what you're able to do is run it on diesel and any other fuel. Uh, reductions in, in carbon emissions will be 50, about 50% 50 or 25 to 50, depending on what alternative fuel you use with it, uh, and lower nitrous oxide emissions. So with these two technologies, we have a gasoline technology, we have a diesel technology um, that will meet, meet emission standards today without the new sophisticated emission control units. Manufacturers and users will be able to save about 50% on the cost of retrofitting vehicles and generators to meet emission levels by using this new turnkey technology. Here we go. This is the diesel conversion system. There's the new hardware. Over on this side is our new ICU. We own our own emissions uh, control uh, units and our own software to make it operate. It's plug and play. You just plug it into your existing system. There it goes. Go ahead and start it up. And there it is. And this is a multi-fuel system. So depending on how much load you have, it draws more and more ammonia. When you're at full load, it draws the maximum amount of ammonia, which is just slightly less than 50%. This is the switch that you uh, switch, mm -hmm. and so that it shows you you're drawing, you know, alternative fuels. You're drawing different fuels, depending on the load. So the more load you put on the system, as I said, the more fuel that it draws. And of course, you notice, because ammonia is a more efficient fuel than diesel or gasoline, you have about 110% net efficiency and about 120% net power output. So it's a more powerful fuel. But because there's less carbon in it, there'll be less wear and tear uh, and maintenance required. You don't have to change your oil as often. Okay, this is the program we use that controls the fuel map that works with the ICU. Uh, this is our own software, we own it. And uh, this is what makes it work. Because we've produced our own uh, emissions control or ICU ignition control system and our own software, our own fuel maps, you can control whether you have higher efficiency or higher or lower emissions. So what you can do is, is you can set your system up so that it runs uh, more efficiently and gives you a much more power output, as much as 20% increase in power. Or you can do it so that it, although no matter what you do, it's going to be lower emissions, you can run it very lean and get extremely low emissions and still get at least the power that the manufacturer gave you. In this particular case, it's set up right now for high efficiency. So when you punch it, this is a diesel truck. And as you can see, you know, zero to 60 in about seven, seven, oh, seven seconds. 30 years ago, we did our 1981 shove and pallet and ran on 100% ammonia. Um, history wasn't ready, the world wasn't ready. Today, the world is.